This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. And then this guy said, this is the, the no kiss, rejected kiss is the most simply friends of argument that totally discredits your advice. Oh, I'm glad you're joining the show because this is a, a lot of this is in response to some of the stuff you talked about. So continuing, so I don't know if you've seen the first half of the show so far, but we've kind of gone into some of the examples of. So now I want to talk about, since you're watching the show now, I do want to actually get into this next video. So this is a video that is a two-parter. And this is a woman that actually went on a date and did a first kiss with a guy on an elevator. It got 6 million views on TikTok. So let's watch this video. So I had to, do the, I had to silence the sound because I had a, a, a copyrighted song. So this says, so I went on a first date last week and my date kissed me in the elevator of my apartment. So naturally I texted my building security and asked for the footage from the elevator camera. So this girl, the text was, I have a funny request. Are the cameras in the elevator recorded? I was on a date with this guy the other day and we had our first kiss in the elevator and I would die to have that footage from the camera. Is that possible if I tell you the date and time? And so the security guy said, security is on it. So let's see the kiss. Here we go. This is the first kiss. So get in the elevator. I want you to watch her face, right? This is the face of a woman. These are the signals that she's giving, guys, that she wants to be kissed. Notice that dead stare like, you're going to do it? You're going to do it? I dare you to do it? I dare you to do it? Oh, I hope it's going to happen. And here comes the kiss. Leaning in. Amazing. First date kiss. Touchdown. Score, right? So he, he did it. He got the kiss. She's very happy about it. She's all, she's all stars, right? Everything is great. So per this guy that said, because the guy that commented now, he's like, you know, oh, if I don't get a first kiss, it's totally bad and women don't have a blah, blah, blah. So let's say he's a chatter Tyrone. Let's go with that. She let the kiss happen, right? Let's see what happened with this guy. Because everybody was asking, oh my God, the elevator guy, what happened with that guy? First date and first kiss captured in the elevator of my apartment building. Okay, I texted security and asked them for this footage. Then I posted it on TikTok, it got six million views, and now everyone is wondering what the fuck happened to Elevator what happened? So strap in, because I'm about to break some hearts when I tell you what happened. To oh, she's about to break some hearts? What, what could have happened? I mean, the first kiss was there, so he knew that she was highly interested because he got the kiss that he wanted. What could have possibly gone wrong? Elevator boy. Can your man have a girl best friend? I'm not asking. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we Can go. Can he have girlfriends? Can he have a girl best friend? The answer is no. Elevator boy had a girl best friend, and I heard all about her on the first date to the point where I said after he left on the first date, I am never going to see that man again because my red flags were waving, okay? Like this. Then when I went on his Instagram and sent his Instagram to all my friends, they were like, oh, he has a girlfriend. They have countless couple photos together and they're commenting on every single post of each other like, I love you, Pookie, so fire, Pookie, so hot, right? Wait, 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 so you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that this girl decided, you know what, I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and I'm gonna kiss this guy on this first date and it's gonna be lovely and it come to find out that this guy actually had a close female best friend that is more likely more so a relationship than anything else that he's done coupled up with, took trips with, kissed and stuff like that. And the pictures of this are on that page. And she didn't know about that? Like, what? I know. <laughs> After the first day, he calls me and he said, I talked to my girl best friend about our date. And she said, you talked about me. She knows about me, right? So he tells me that. And I thought, oh, okay. So they're in an open relationship because I need to know about her. And he tells me not to worry about her because she has a boyfriend. I later come to find out that he thought that that boyfriend needed to ask him permission to date her. I didn't listen to the red flags flying and we kept talking for a little bit. And I brought this up eventually because it it's like the elephant in the fucking room. I had to ask, what's your relationship? Are you guys in an open relationship? Are you guys dating? I feel like if you have to ask that, that's already a concern. He explained to me that their relationship is the way that it is because he's not currently dating anyone. If he was dating somebody, their relationship would be different. <laughs> All right. So she sa he's saying, okay, so I'm allowed to go out and I'm allowed to date other people. Uh, and and if, if one of those get close, then we won't do what we're doing. But in the meantime, 
we're going to still be doing what we're doing. We're still going to be kissing each other. We're still going to be hooking up with each other. And even though she has a quote unquote, a boyfriend, that's not really what's actually going on because we're still trying to do our thing. Right? So what does this now teach this woman, this woman who up to this point was very open to doing a first date kiss with a guy that she has high interest in, throws caution to the wind, going to go ahead and do it. She's now learned that she doesn't always have the full story about that guy when she goes for that first kiss because she's like, oh, if I'm on a date, of course he's single. Of course he doesn't have, he might be dating other people, but he's not got a whole girlfriend or close female friend he's doing stuff with in the background. That's not going to be his thing. And now what's going to happen is that the next time she goes out with another guy, she's going to get to the end of that date. She's going to want to kiss him and she's going to think to herself, but the last time I did that, I didn't know the full story of the guy that I wanted to go kiss and I got burned by that and it didn't feel good. And it made me question if I wanted to even date again, you know? And so this is all I'm talking about because I'm not saying that you shouldn't go for the first kiss or that there's no, there's no time ever at all ever when if she doesn't kiss you on that date that she's not interested. That is very probable. A woman could go on a date with you and you go for that kiss and the reason she rejects it is because she does not have high interest. But I'm just telling you guys, that is not always the full story. You don't have the full story of things that she went through to fully judge her about if the rejection that she's giving you for this particular kiss is because of something you did. Sometimes it very well could be something you did. It could be she just doesn't find you attractive. But oftentimes, it's not always about you. It could very well be that based on our previous experience with these lame dudes who tricked her and made her think that she was the only person that they were seeing and kind of find out, there are women, I've told, told heard stories women that they went on a first date with the guy and darn near hooked up with them, kind of find out he had whole wives. He had girlfriends that had babies and stuff like that. Or he had some kind of STD that she didn't, he didn't tell her about. Like, these are the things that women go through. So this is why I'm saying it's not, it's you don't have to completely fault women for you didn't get the physicality you want on your dates. And then the last video I want to play is this particular woman. Now, this woman, she's very famous on TikTok. She's got a lot of followers and stuff, and she's been known for like dating guys and going out, then not working out, and yada, yada, yada. So she's now been with her, her now boyfriend for the last 10 months. But when they first started dating, they they weren't doing a lot of stuff. And I'll let her explain what that is, and I'll stop along the way to try to give some commentary to her story as well. Let's bring her up dates with no kiss you're just friends if the so she went out with this her now boyfriend they went on 14 dates and they did not do physical stuff now again this is an example where like i don't agree with that i don't think it should take you should have to wait 14 dates for a kiss but i'm saying as a grown-ass adults she put forth hey I'm, I'm not ready for a kiss yet and he said let's talk about that okay let's not do that they decided that was what's going to happen and now they're in a relationship, but let's talk. Let's. Let, I want you guys to hear why it is she decided to lay off on kissing this guy right away. Chemistry isn't there. I'm not here for it. But good for you and your student boyfriend. <laughs> I wasn't willing to do the hookup culture thing where you kiss a stranger on the first date. My goal was to create a friendship first. Because in the past, I would kiss them right away and I would get lip drunk and then quickly I'd get dick drunk. And then I wasn't sober enough to see the red flags. But what I was missing in all my past relationships was a true friendship. So go back to the previous part, right? So where she says like, yeah. So in her past, she was able to observe that she would go on dates and she would do the whole kissing on the first date and then probably do hookups on the first date. But that blinded her to being able to see red flags. And what I think most guys don't want to admit is that Part of the reason they're trying to get that first kiss in is because they they don't want her to see red flags. They want to get we want to get them on the physical side. So it's like, oh, even if they see red flags later, it's going to be hard for her to dump me. But women that have been dating long enough, they start to realize, you know what? I, no matter how attractive that guy is, I, I don't know yet if he's going to be the right one for me. But I do know it's going to be harder to get rid of this guy if, in fact, I do kiss him and I do let him into my body. So are we going to now punish this woman? for learning from that and deciding to do a different a different thing. As a guy, that's your decision to make. You could say you could come across her and say, "Hey, you want to wait 14 dates respectfully? I, I'm not on that timeline, so I'm out." You know, you could totally do that. You have the, the full right to do that. But again, I'm just letting her give her reasoning for why it is that she did something different with this new guy. Where we respected each other, we admired each other, we trusted one another and we saw each other as an equal. It's super hard to vet somebody and know who they are, what they believe about things, what their values are in life, and what their goals are.
if you're keeping their mouth busy by kissing them and sleeping with them the whole time. And then I will say it's even harder once you do find out stuff about them that's not appealing, whether it's like, you know, you hook up, let's say you kiss a woman on the first date, you hook up with them on the second date and things are going, and then all of a sudden you like start finding out about her family and about her past and about, oh, she has a jail record here. And oh, she actually used to scam people out of money by doing this. And oh, she thought it was really funny as a kid to go up to dudes that she was dating and just punch them in the face. And you're like, oh, I, 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 oh my God, I didn't know. Like what's going on? And now I got to get rid of her. And you're like, oh, but the sex is so good. I've had women in my past that I didn't kiss and that I didn't do physical stuff with. And I don't think about them anymore. Like I don't forgot about them. Meanwhile, I've had women that I've hooked up with like maybe one time or had a good makeout session with maybe one time. And there are still times sporadically where I'll think about them. It is not worth it. I find to have to have memories of people that are no longer there simply because, but I got to get mine. I got to get my rocks off today. I got to get that kiss. because It's going to make me feel good. It's not always about you. Sometimes the reality is you got to look at the woman. You got to see what boundaries she's trying to set in place. You got to figure out what that's all about and then understand, hey, it's not the worst thing at times to wait. Again, and I stress, you don't have to wait with every woman. I still think as a guy, it is your job to put forth that you want to do these kisses and things. But if you're getting initial pushback, again, maybe take a date or two to figure out if it's just because you're just ugly to her or she secretly doesn't like you, or if it could just be, hey, she just needs to take time because she really does see you as a viable candidate, but wants to make sure she's making the right decision versus effing it up like she did previously. So I purposely don't kiss right away because I want to keep their mouth busy talking because that exposes everything, whether they're a kind person or not. And the foundation of every good relationship is a solid friendship. Now, during that time, again, I don't agree with all what she's saying, but it is what time it is. period we did hold hands and we hugged and we slow dance and we'd walk arm in arm together so there was plenty of flirting happening but our mouths were free to get to know each other and to vet each other and honestly it worked for me girl i'm not saying you have to do it you do you boo but what i had been doing wasn't working well so i had to make a change and this is the most responsible wonderful relationship that i have gotten myself into <laughs> So I'm super grateful and happy. And so is my student boyfriend. So yeah, guys, all, at the end of the day, guys, it's like this. It's like, you know, my channel, I give you guys suggestions based on stuff that worked in my in my dating life and stuff that I messed up, stuff that I, that worked well, but also observations that I've noticed about women and the thing. And, and I, I really tried my best for ladies watching. I've done my best to like try to really dive into the journey of what women go through. You know, back in my day, I was, even though, I was a virgin until I was 23. At the point that I lost my virginity, I wanted to do like more makeouts and more hookups with stuff on, on first and second and third dates. And I just learned that, 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 and that, and it happened a lot. It happened a lot of times where I could get that first date kiss. I could get that second or third date hookup. But I found there were, there were times where these women that would come to me that were like really nice women and cordial women, it could just be, they just needed a first date to be able to just get to know me and see if I was going to be as insane or not as the previous guys they tried to date that were failing. And usually I found once I got past that first date and showed them that I'm not like a crazy dude, then by that second date, they were open to do a lot more than kissing. Some of you guys are taking women out of the race that would be willing to do more than kissing with you simply because you're not getting it when you want it. You're not getting it on the first day. You're not getting it on the second day. Like, and the thing is like, and it's again, you as the guy have to ultimately decide if that's your program and it works that you only date women that kiss you on that first date. Hey, like this woman said, you do you. I'm just trying to give you a different perspective. And I'm trying to give you the understanding from the women's point of view that sometimes because of their dating journey, if they're trying to do stuff different to get different results, they're making different decisions. And that could be including as much as I like this guy, I can't kiss him on the first date for whatever reason that's not worked in the past. And so I want to do something different. If you want to punish member for that, that is on you. I just know in my heart that that's not the best mode of operandi. All right. Now, and, that, and, I, and I, with that, I still believe, yes, women that have a very high interest for you on those first few dates will kiss you, will make out. So I'm not trying to take those away, but don't be fooled into thinking that because a woman didn't kiss you, that she doesn't at any time ever have any kind of high interest. So she doesn't ever think about wanting to bed you, you know, because you could, that very well could be far from the truth.